have you recently had this feeling that you don't quite know what you are doing anymore where life is going on it is on autopilot and you feel like you are just drifting it wasn't always like this you had big plans before but somewhere along the way those plans just tapered off and now you start wondering whether you are lost where is your sense of purpose in today's video i'm going to take on this difficult topic what is the neuroscience of purpose what does it mean when we feel lost and what can we do to find our way back i'm dr siddharth warrior i'm a neurologist and if you're not subscribed to this channel do so right now it means a lot to me and you'll see a lot more such videos on your timeline when we feel lost in life that usually happens when some big plan that we've had doesn't work out so in the brain when we make a plan we are committing to a future we say that i want to do this job or i want to marry this person or i want to have this kind of body whatever it is we commit to something and for any reason if that doesn't work out our brain takes that feedback as a failure the amygdala in your limbic system gets very emotional and threatened and goes into a freeze response it decides that this is not for me and it doesn't know what to do next so when the amygdala is in that state of mind your prefrontal cortex which is supposed to be your rational logical part of the brain doesn't really know how to calculate further it doesn't know how to make plans anymore so you go into an automated state of mind you just do whatever is easiest in front of you you enter into a state of inertia that is the basis of that feeling of being lost every time you look at other people achieving things you get a sense of self doubt that wait is this all that i'm capable of i used to be capable of so much more what is wrong with me so apart from the uncertainty and that sense of threat you now also have a negative self spiral and this is the state of mind that makes people turn towards spiritual leaders babas gurus anyone who can give them that one thing that they need the most certainty somebody who comes in and says this is what you need to do this is the path you need to follow people will go for it because when you're lost and in the dark any light is welcome as they say a drowning man will clutch at a straw There's a reason why so many babas are doing so well because I guess so many people are feeling lost and looking for direction. So let's look at this from a neuroscience perspective. The first thing that you need to do when you are in this state of mind is not to ask yourself big existential questions like what is the purpose of my life? Why am I here? What am I supposed to be achieving? Don't ask any of that. First ask yourself is my brain healthy enough to make a decision now is my brain capable of giving me a clear answer because remember all the thoughts that you have all the planning that you're doing is being done by the networks in your brain your brain is a biological organ if your brain is healthy then you can make the right decisions if your brain is not healthy you will end up making the wrong decisions so first let's look at the brain it's like if you're going on a road trip and you're struggling with the car you don't start thinking about why am i doing this road trip you'll first look at whether the car is okay whether everything is okay in the engine whether there is enough petrol similarly if you're struggling in life first think about brain health now the brain can be healthy only if the body is healthy So my approach to getting out of that lost feeling is to focus on the base of the pyramid which is your physical and metabolic health. Once the base of the pyramid is strong, automatically your brain health will become better and if your brain health is good, all the decisions that you make will start becoming more and more efficient and that is your psychological health. You will have better emotional regulation and a better sense of purpose. So this is step 1. If you're feeling lost, take a few days to focus only on getting enough sleep drinking enough water and making sure that you're eating all the things that your brain needs if you want a deeper dive into the sleep and nutritional aspects of brain health i will link those videos below you can watch them after this one now coming to step 2 assuming that you have taken a week to reset your brain health how do you find your purpose 
most people think that purpose will appear magically after a meditation retreat or after watching a motivational video unfortunately that is not the case purpose already exists in your brain if you can find it and the way to find it is through conflict now this is a paradox because people tend to run away from conflict wherever there is conflict you think that let's not go there let me go to a place where everything is easy and comfortable but what people don't understand is conflict happens when two parts of your brain are arguing about something which means that that something is important to you you are never conflicted about something that does not matter to you so if you are conflicted about anything chase that feeling look more closely as to why are you conflicted think about it more deeply and you will find that there is something in there that you want to do more and more there is something in that topic that you are passionate about because remember that passion and purpose is like a spark and spark only comes from friction when two things conflict with each other that is the point where your purpose and passion lies now how do you actually find purpose the way out of being lost is to not think your way out and this is something that most people end up doing which is overthinking when you are lost you are already in a state of anxiety your amygdala is already threatened and the more you think the more you end up in that threat spiral in fact the only way out is action you need to do something physically in order for the threat levels to come down so if you have found something that you are even vaguely interested in find one thing that you can keep doing again and again every day when i was growing up i heard this story about two frogs having fallen into a pot of milk now they swim around for a while and one of the frogs decides to give up says that there's no way anyone will save us i'm going to just let go he drowned and died the other frog just kept swimming in a circle and after a while the milk started curdling and it eventually became curd and the frog was able to get on the curd and then jump out and escape i always think about the story because there are some things that emerge after doing something repeatedly and you cannot plan this in the first day you think that you are doing the same thing it's pointless what's the point of doing the same thing again and again but the older i get the more i realize that some of the most magical things in life happen after you do something repeatedly because something unlocks in your brain with repetition and that is what i want you all to experience from a neuroscience perspective the difference between chasing after something for a while and repeating something many times is the happiness from dopamine versus the happiness from serotonin so dopamine is short term happiness when you eat a chocolate you get dopamine but serotonin is the happiness that comes when you grow something for example when you start a new business and you see it grow from one customer to 100 customers when you go to the gym every day and you see the changes in your body that is serotonin happiness and i believe that true purpose comes from serotonin and not from dopamine small actions done repeatedly leads to serotonin which leads to clarity of thought and that is what gives purpose i hope that this video proves useful i hope it reaches the right people who need to hear this at the right time if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments because this is something that i have gone through personally and i feel that sharing this with you is something that i should do and um, share this video with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone take care